class A commutation. This is the one type of commutation method that will come in forced type of commutation. Forced commutation is a one when we give a DC supply to a SCR that type of a commutation we are calling it as a forced commutation. So in case of a DC there is we don't have a natural zero point. So we have a straight line the there is no uh, like in case of a AC there will be a no natural zero occurring point in case of a DC. So for that reason we need a commutating components. So based on the type of connection there are different classes are there from class A to class E. The first one is a class A. Here when a SCR is triggered so this is the circuit as you can see here the LCR the resonating uh, commutation we can say it as a resonating commutation here we are using the commutation components that is inductor capacitor as well as a resistor so in the first circuit as you can see here the resistor is connected in parallel with the commutating component that is capacitor the load is in parallel with the capacitor here the commutating component is inductor and capacitor here the resistor is a load so the RLC both all three are present in the circuit so we say it as a resonating commutation self -commuta commutation by resonating the load so we can say that also what happens when we connect a DC supply so when a SCR is triggered anode, anode current flows and charges up the C with the dot as positive so here the plus symbol is given for the consider this circuit so as soon as when we give a positive supply to the SCR that is anode is connected to positive supply here so this is our anode and this is our cathode so anode is connected to positive and a negative terminal is connected to a cathode so as soon as we give a supply for the SCR anode current will start to flow in the SCR right the anode current it will start conducting when along with that we need to supply the gate pulse also the gate pulse so usually they won't show the circuit of a gate circuit that is a uh, whatever we studied in a gate characteristics no in uh, in order to uh, the pulse will be given but that circuit they won't show in the actual circuit so along with that pulse when along with the gate pulse when we apply the anode uh, dc source of some voltage that is positive volt for consider it as a 5 volt so when we supply the voltage to a scr so that is anode is connected to positive and a negative terminal is connected to cath cathode so it is forward biased now and it will start to conduct with the gate pulse also so we need to in order to turn on the scr either we should give a maximum voltage or else along with the gate pulse with the required voltage we can start the scr so that is a method of starting the scr so here when we give a supply it will start conducting that is anode current will start to flow in the particular circuit so as you can see here the inductor as well as the capacitor so these are the commutating component so inductor which is also energy storing device capacitor that is also energy storing device here rl is a load resistor so as soon as anode current starts to flow in the circuit it will complete the path in this way the anode current will starts to flow in inductor as well as a capacitor as inductor and capacitors are energy storing device so they will start to store the energy with the polarity plus over here and minus over here similarly plus for the one plate and minus for this below plate so the capacitor will starts to accumulate the charges on its plate as well as the inductor will also starts to store the energy because inductor as well as the capacitor is an energy storing device so up to one limit they can store the energy for example uh, what we said the supply dc is a 5 volt so up to 5 volt up to here 
फाइव ओल्ड दे विल स्टार्ट टू स्टोर द एनर्जी सो वेन इट रीच द फाइव ओल्ड हियर ऑल्सो द कैपेसिटर सो अप टू फाइव ओल्ड इट विल स्टार्ट टू स्टोर द एनर्जी सो वेन इट रीचस द फाइव ओल्ड वॉट हैपन्स सो हियर देर इज वन कंडीशन वेन एनोड पोटेंशियल इज ग्रेटर देन कैथोड पोटेंशियल देन ओनली द एस सी आर विल स्टार्ट हियर at the sta at the uh, point when we switch on the uh, dc source for this ser here in anode point here the an voltage is 5 volt so at cathode the voltage is less because at that uh, beginning the energy stored in inductor as well as they are still storing the energy so the anode voltage is less compared to the cathode voltage at the beginning so after some point so what happens the inductor will also starts to store the energy and capacitor will also store the energy so when it reaches to the maximum 5 volt that is the dc supply voltage so when it reaches to the 5 volt what happens so here at anode what we have 5 volt but at cathode what happens 5 plus 5 it will become 10 volts at cathode you can see here that is at anode we have 5 volt so because of the inductor as well as a capacitor 5 volt now the cathode voltage the voltage at the cathode it will add 5 plus 5 it will add so now the uh, cathode voltage is 10 volt compared to anode voltage so what happens the negative polarity the cathode is a negative terminal so then the negative voltage is higher compared to the positive voltage what happens the scr will turn off so when it turn off so uh, when it turn off the after some time when they uh, so so that is one method so it will turn off and whatever the stored charge which is present in a inductor as well as, well as a capacitor that will discharge to the load resistor so this is the method of turning off of scr by using commutating component that is l and c so this one what we explained here is l c r are connected in series that is load resistor rl is connected in series with the l and c so if a load resistor rl is connected with in uh, that is with parallel with a the capacitor then uh, that is also possible commutation that one is also possible that we are the both circuits are a nothing but a class a circuit only now we study the waveform for this particular circuit by considering a parallel circuit when this r is connected with this capacitor so that is a parallel circuit so the waveform of this is as follows so this is a waveform of scr commutation that is class a commutation uh, as you can see here uh, ig is nothing but a gate pulse which is given for the scr to turn on the scr so vc is the voltage across this capacitor the stored energy so here the inductor voltage we are not considering so the same the inductor voltage as well as the capacitor voltage uh, we considered here uh, for a uh, understanding purpose the only the capacitor voltage we consider and this is i scr is nothing but uh, uh, the current which is flowing through the scr anode current that's i scr current is the current which is flowing in the scr and v scr is the voltage across this scr only here so this is the voltage across the scr so sorry only here whatever the voltage is there no that is a v scr now we study what happens when we give a gate pulse so he uh, c uh, here when we give a gate pulse to the, along with the supply voltage when we give a supply voltage along with this gate pulse what happens the current will starts to flow in the scr you can see here the positive peak so the current will starts to flow in the scr so when it current starts to flow in a scr so the, that current will come to the capacitor and it will complete the path in this manner so it will charge the capacitor so this is the charging time of the capacitor it will charge up to the voltage so this is our 5 volt the whatever the peak is there no this is the 5 volt peak why because the supply is also 5 volt so we for example we consider it as a 5 volt so when we give a gate supply 
or a gate pulse when we apply the gate pulse so it will start conducting so anode current will starts to flow in the scr so that anode current will flow through the inductor as well as a capacitor so inductor will also start to store the energy capacitor will also start to store the energy so this is the charging time of the capacitor that is it reached to its maximum peak value so after that point when it reaches the maximum value so what happens uh, it will starts to discharge so here the capacitor will discharge to the load resistor so when it starts to discharge so you can refer this vscr also so when a scr is in on stand the voltage across the scr so this voltage is very less that is about 0.7 for this scr so that is shown zero over here so that is very less so when a scr is in on state the voltage across the scr is zero so when the voltage is uh, higher than the supply voltage that is for example here they mentioned in a blue line as a source voltage so when the charging voltage for example here the voltage of the inductor as well as the capacitor is more compared to the supply voltage v so when it reaches to its maximum value that is uh, cathode is at higher potential compared to the anode so at that time what happens the scr will turn off so it won't immediately turn off that you can see over here in the graph so here it won't turn off immediately it will take some time because of the presence of charge carriers in the scr so once it will turn off the voltage will starts to increase a negative voltage is generated over here that you can see because of the charge voltage of that one so turn off method that we already studied because of the charge carriers a negative voltage that is here the polarity uh, because of this stored energy the cathode potential is higher compared to the anode potential because of that a negative voltage is generated for a small amount of time so after that it will discharge through this load resistor so then scr will turn off and uh, when it is turn off what we can say the scr as a open switch so scr is a like a normal switch whenever we want we can turn on and when we don't want it it's a like a switch only it's, uh, so when it is in off state the voltage will be there across this scr so that voltage will starts to increase the same thing after some time again the capacitor uh, when the voltage completely reduces to zero whatever the voltage which is present in the inductor as well as the capacitor completely reduced to zero again the anode potential is higher compared to the cathode potential so here at the time at this time the anode cathode potential is zero completely they will discharge so anode potential is now at 5 volt so again it will starts to conduct so when it reaches to the maximum value again it will discharge uh, during discharge time the capacitor uh, the scr is in off state I hope this one is clear for you. So immediately after giving the gate pulse, SCR will starts to conduct along with that inductor as well as a capacitor will starts to charge. So when the stored charge is more compared to the anode voltage, so that for cathode voltage is higher compared to the anode voltage, that is a reverse voltage like we are applying the reverse voltage. So at that time, SCR will turn off. So the turn off time it will take some time because of the presence of charge carriers. When it completely turn off, we can see here, here VSCR starts to increase because it acts like an open switch at that time. So when it discharge through this load resistor, the inductor as well as a capacitor, when it's discharge through this load resistor, that whatever the stored energy when it completely discharged, again the anode potential is higher compared to the cathode potential. Again it will starts to conduct. So this is about class A type of commutation.